check it out in this video. I'm going to be freestyling on some large kind of poster paper with some Sumi calligraphy ink and some bamboo brush tips. I did this little holographic Halloween style design. Figured now's a good time to also make some other uh, Halloween style stuff. So I'll probably do a bigger style of this, almost in a big poster, and then maybe some other kind of throw up leather styles that are a little grimy as well. So let's see what uh, we come out with. The bamboo brush lends itself to kind of that grimy little monster style, so that was my reasoning for picking this medium. A lot of poster space to fill up. Let's get at it. So this first calligraphy piece definitely turned out a little bit chunkier, kind of like the thicker lines to it. Also added that grime aspect with some of those strips and little hit ups. Let's go freestyle a piece. I really don't have any plan for the structure here. I'm just kind of going at it, letting the page tell me what to do. Figured I'd want to throw a big eyeball here on top of the eye, so hit that up and then kind of just rolled with the punches. Added some details and little extra cutouts here and there and then slowly built up the piece around that. I felt the weight of the piece needed a big heavy E on the right side, so I made that thing monstrous, and then I had to compensate over there on the left with the S and build that thing up a little bit larger as well. So I cheated here a little bit using some cutbacks with some white on some of the old parts of that S, but hey, you know, might not technically be a full freestyle, still loving where it's going. I went after that centralized vanishing point 3D and added a bunch of those white streaks down the middle to add a little bit of depth to it but not totally take away from the contrast that I'd be able to add through that 3D. I was missing some more monster style here, so I threw in those teeth amongst the E, and I'll end up using the same style over there on the S. Also added a bunch of those strips and little grimier touches to make sure that this grew a little bit and got a little bit more funky than when it was just sitting there. So I couldn't just leave this as a painting, I had to digitalize it up, and get it on some stickers, and actually felt the hunch to put it on some t-shirts. So 
So in order to do that, I'm gonna do a bleach style block out print. So I'm basically weeding out and cutting the design on some vinyl, transferring that onto a t-shirt, and then I'm just gonna block out the area that I wanna cover for the design, and just spray bleach all around the rest and get a real grimy look, not to mention a one of one print every, every time. I've been working behind the scenes on this process for about a month or two now, tailoring it in. So maybe next week I'll do a full tutorial about how to go at it yourself and get some really sweet prints without needing any screen printing equipment. I'll have a few of these t-shirts up on my web shop if you want to check them out. And I'll also have sticker packs. So the orange backdrop on the printout of these stickers was a no-brainer, doubling down on that Halloween theme. Definitely pumped with how they came out. These will be spreading around real nicely. If you want to get some of these stickers or the t-shirt prints, head over to my web shop. I'll have stuff over there for you to check out. Got a few of these printed up in different sizes, so jump over there if you're interested. Big thank you for checking out this video. Feel free to spray that like button if you enjoyed what you saw, or consider joining the crew by subscribing. Like I said, I've got that tutorial on how to bleach dye your own t-shirts, and honestly, these effects and outcomes rival that of what you can screen print. So, very cheap, very easy method. Subscribe for next week's video. Share some love and maybe pick up one of those t-shirts or sticker packs to help support the channel. That's going to do it for me, guys. Peace.